probably start recording. We'll hit that button real quick. Up to his old tricks again. Press start button for new game. Press select button for menu. Yeah, do we have any options? Like maybe music effect, USB headset for PlayStation 2. Uh, Invert controls. Sure. We'll turn that stuff on. Center screen. Really? Center does all the way down here? It looks like it'd be up here. Wait, cancel. All right, now I guess there is a bit of a black gap on the bottom. I don't know, like, some games seem to have, like, a black gap in the top and bottom. Other games don't. It's weird. I don't know why. So, like, I keep changing it for one or the other, but, yeah. Subtitles, please? That would be nice, but sadly I don't see any, man. I don't think subs are an option. Hey, thank you for the follow, Downcast. This is Peaky Thank Duck. you, Down I underscore you, cast, for following. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time It's a disguise, my guy. <laughs> if we're gonna get to those clock <laughs> Nobody can know who he is. So in plain talk, what's your status? Established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Right into the action of the game, then. Let's go. Ooh. Can you, I invert that by any chance? Left turns the camera right, right turns the camera left. Uh, down is up, though, and up is down. That's good. I like that. Uh, I like the vertical invert. I don't like the horizontal invert. It's weird, I know. I don't think I can change it, though. Invert turret controls. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll get used to it. It's not a game breaker. It's just going to take some getting used to. X would be jump. Squares attack. It hasn't been that long since we played Sly 1. But it's still going to take me a moment to remember how to do anything. What is that sound? There's like a, a honking or something. Is it that dude up there? Was it me doing something? Can I go in the water? Yeah, okay. I thought so, but do not touch, touch. Can't tell me not to touch something and expect, like, you know, not to touch it. It's not going to happen, dude. Ooh, okay. R1 lets us run. That's good to know. Can we just, like, jump up there? Dude, you could totally grab that ledge if you wanted to. Is there a run in Sly 1? I can't remember, dude. Wait, how am I actually supposed to get up there? <laughs> is there... Is it this? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I spent so long screwing around, man, just looking around. I forgot how the hell we were supposed to go where we were wanting to go. Oops. <laughs> I thought we would get, like, some coins for breaking it or something. I didn't realize we were just going to destroy a potentially priceless artifact. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. 
right. Take your time, Bentley. Take your time. Hey, good job, little guy. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, <laughs> where are we going? Down there? Can we open this door? Ooh, health refills. Okay. And it like came out of the couch, but without breaking. That's new. Ooh. Are you gonna come around the corner? I mean, does it even matter if you see me? I'm behind the bars. You have no way to get over here, right? Haha, <laughs> take that, stupid masks. Oh, wait. Oh, there are coins. They're just like up there. I probably missed some back there. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll be okay. Can I use that instead? Oh, I guess not. It broke instantly. I guess it's for the best then. We probably don't want to be using that sword. It looks like it kind of sucks, actually. If our, you know, cane broke it in one hit. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're going to have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll Is that why they call it a guard then? If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run oh along God. road. Circle. We can do that. Look at all the cars. So fancy. I don't remember there being cars last time around. In the first one. New features. We got birds. Oh my god. Look at the burbs. Weird snake statues. That's fun. Try pressing on ahead without him. Can't break that. It's weird how many health refills it's giving us so 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 early. Considering as far as I'm aware, it's been impossible for us to take damage yet. There's Murray. Thank God he showed up. Greetings, citizen. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray. I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. Big the word. Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe. Only the Thunderflop. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. The Murray. Can we, like, duck under that? Does he need help? Oh, there he goes. He got it. Good job, Murray. Okay. All clear. You're a true bro, my guy. I don't know why I keep feeling compelled to pick up the health uh, upgrades. Or not upgrades, but refills. It's, it's like we haven't I'm lost any health. Shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Are we sure this isn't just like some sort of dream Murray's having where he's the hero? Because <laughs> Murray was far from useless in the first game, but he was basically just the getaway driver, you know what I mean? I like. <laughs> the clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh really? 
Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? He's got a butthole Don't gun. Don't play dumb with me. <laughs> it might not have been him, Comrade. Who the hell is that? The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hey, come back here, Ringtail! My memory is so shit. Were there, like, actual voiced cutscenes? Or, like, uh, you know, animated cutscenes like that in the first one? It's time to go. I don't remember them. This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, Regardless, though, I feel like they kind of, I don't know, cheaped out on it <laughs> like, <laughs> this time around. Like, <laughs> the animation inside the cutscenes was a little bland, I think is okay to say, you know? Fair to say. Pick me up at the rendezvous. Going to jail for what? I mean, I guess we're still breaking and entering. Might not have stolen anything, but like, still, still probably broke a law or two. Maybe. Hold still. Allegedly. Stop. Oh wait, can we click the left stick to run too? Let's go. I mean, okay, technically we might have stole one or two small things, you know? Like some coins. May have broken a couple artifacts or personal possessions of someone's, but like, come on, that shit don't count, dude. <laughs> exactly, Rue, exactly. Like sliding down? Nice. Oh god, hi. <laughs> I'll find you, Cooper. Why is she so obsessed with us, dude? See, this is how I remember all the cutscenes being. It's like this. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that constable Mila. Was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, yeah. Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, <laughs> sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. So we're trying to collect the pieces to make sure he doesn't come back? Maybe the Claw Gang is trying to collect the pieces to bring him back? Or maybe they really don't know what the hell they're doing. I, have, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Following icon appears, the game is saving. Don't do shit you'll regret. Got it. Episode one, you look weird. <laughs> that was rude, I'm sorry. You're a lovely lizard. Maybe. The Black Chateau? 
to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Beautiful. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in the Black Chateau. Chateau? Chateau. I'm assuming toe. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've taken French. And I never got to finish the class, so... <laughs> uh, eh, it's fine. So is this going to be like Sly 1, where this is now like a hub world to find smaller worlds, or... Oh, we can play. Oh, wait. Never mind. We can't play as them. Sell, loot, and buy gadgets? What? Trigger bomb? Throwable bomb with remote detonation. You don't have enough coins. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So there's actually a point to picking up the coins. Nice. Fist of Flame. Turn ordinary punches into fiery ones. Or smoke bomb. Obscure the vision of your enemies for a hasty getaway. Well, we're poor, so we can't do any of that right now. We don't have any loot. What does... Oh, we can't pick Murray? Oh, I was hoping Murray did something as well. Honestly, when it first started letting us, like, move on that... Put us on that screen, I thought it was... Asking us who we wanted to play as. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Okay. Hey. Wait, is this a hub world then? It looks a lot like a hub world. I see a uh you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick. I'll beam some virtual markers into your feet back. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. I got you, dude. I know how to use a camera. <laughs> I might be hopeless. I'm not that hopeless, though. I mean, since we're just, like, looking at the game for right now, we should probably just go ahead and go, you know, where we're meant to go. And then we can worry about all the exploration and stuff later. Whenever we actually decide to finish the game, beat the game. That was not a jump. That was like a roll. Why did we like roll off of it? That was weird. We have an uppercut? I don't remember that. Do we have like the dive still? We do. We don't have like the dodge roll though or anything. Or that spinny thing that we could do before. So we don't have all of the abilities from before. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, 
jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Cutscenes don't seem skippable, sadly. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't anyways, but like that was literally just tutorial stuff. We know how to jump and grab pipes. We did it just moments ago. That's not obvious or anything. <laughs> I'm sure nobody will notice that pointing in the wrong direction. Aha. Uh -huh. They really got us going everywhere, don't they? There we go. There's a bottle. My bottle. Uh, there was a bottle up there, too. Is there an easy way to get back up? Can I, like, stand on this window and... No. <laughs> okay. From the car, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Bouncy awnings, man. I feel like we might have missed one of the notes back there. I wonder if the notes are used for the same thing, like giving us, uh new abilities okay it takes more than one or two hits on some enemies now ah what oh, we have a lot more health than before too though Cause we took a hit there at some point but we only lost like a tiny sliver of our total health interesting Wait, are they respawning? Or is this another one? Maybe there was just more than what I saw. The jumping can be a little bit jank sometimes. I like the hitboxes, not necessarily the jumping. They do realize that, like, with satellites, things getting in the way like that's really going to hamper the communications between the two. So I've heard, Bentley. So I've heard. one's louder than just walking makes sense good to know though it's good info give me coins please I want to buy things let's go you don't need an antenna anyways what are you trying to do watch TV gross wait that doesn't make sense Oh. What? <laughs> the way these things are pointed makes no sense. Whatever. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. I'm still a little confused. Is this a hub level or is it just its own level? It feels like a hub level, kind of. But the way we're getting like objectives and stuff, maybe that's unique to this tutorial style area. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. 
All right, pal. Let's get to it. The noise he's making, though. Why are you so excited, Bentley? Chill. Wait, what did I just get hit by? Did I get hit by Murray? Bro, <laughs> Murray's a beast, dude. <laughs> we didn't even need to do anything. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. We can do that. We can do that. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Couldn't just, like, carry one of these boxes over here and hop over to help us? I'm starting to think he just doesn't want to help us, dude. This is all just an act, his big guy superhero persona. Ooh, lasers. How spoopy. You probably don't touch those. Wonder if they're like instant death or we can crawl so under that, the table? Yeah, uh, the oh the circle, it's got Metal Gear Solid first person view too. Interesting. Oh <laughs> maybe don't go out the side of it there. We go in here? Nope. There's a guy. Need anything before you get your bath? No, I'm good. Thank you, the loaf. Is that a warthog? Maybe? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know that. Damn it, dude. <laughs> okay. Is there checkpoints at least? Yeah, not too bad. I didn't know we weren't allowed to get caught. I just wanted to kill everyone. <laughs> We can play it stealth, though. We got this. There's something, like, hidden under this table. Why is this table here? You're a thief, remember? Kind of in the job description? I mean, hey, what's the difference between not being seen and not leaving any witnesses, you know? I think it would work fine either way. Oh, 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 okay. He turns to go under the table and then run. I forgot about running being bad. <laughs> Don't actually run. Not if they're dead, they're not a witness. <laughs> Oh, now I get to take out the guard? So we probably could have killed them as long as they never saw us. Why am I even... Why am I breaking this stuff? Just stop. Just <laughs> we don't need to collect everything right now. Okay. Okay. So it's not instant death. The lasers, but they definitely hurt. <laughs> I wonder if the yellow lasers are instant death. I'm gonna guess yes, based on how the dude just went up in freaking flames, man. Like, <laughs> we fucked it up successfully. It's okay. Ooh. I can, we can be seen by the rats, though, right? Surely. I gotcha. But I can fight them if I want to. Oh, 
that's how I took a hit before. They have like a, a kick when they get up. Like Roxas in Kingdom Hearts. Okay. I like the, the comic book pop-ups when you kick people, man. Wait, where? Oh, right here. To the printing press room? Wait, what? Are they printing money here? Did I miss that at some point? I thought this was just like a nightclub. You know, like the, the front business or some shit. Or is he printing the forgery paintings? Maybe that's what's happening. Uh, options, invert, binocucom, off. There we go. Okay, tail feathers. Dimitri, money printer. Okay, money printer. Too far. My bad. Oh, it's got like, I see. There you go. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. Some weird ass bed that spanks you. I mean. <laughs> oh. Whatever you're into, my guy, you know? Oh, he ready? He ready. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international... He has a lizard. Oh, no, it is a money printer. Okay. The idea of trying to use like a rare alloy that doesn't wear out so you don't have to buy new steel plates or whatever when you're literally printing money is just hilarious to me, man. photos like. are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. It was right in front of us. Couldn't we have just, like, snuck through the bars once he left and then went and grabbed it? Like, we were there already, man. Yes, so I've heard. Wait, are there multiple different locations for us to go? Ah, there are. How fancy. Okay, uh, let's do this one first. It looks closer. Ow. You don't see me. <laughs> I'm gone. Is this going to be the tailing emission? I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. Be handy if we have like a blow dart or something, man. 
Oh, it's just gonna hide for me. Perfect. Oh, he was in the boat. Okay. Like, how far do we need to stay back? Does he turn around at some point? Do we need to, like, keep him in our sights the whole time? Can I go up on the roof? Oh, God. Did I already lose him? No, there he is. <laughs> Nobody here. So he does stop and turn around every once in a while. Be best to stay on the roof, I suppose. Are you going, little buddy? There you are. Don't worry, everything's fine. I mean, you basically own this town. What are you so worried about, man? Seriously, though, he's got guards, like, patrolling the whole place. <laughs> Why is he being so paranoid in here? I mean, obviously it's for the best, given what we know, but... <laughs> like... Um, ooh. where's he, is he just doing a circle? You won't be able to see what Dimitri is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. I don't like the idea of coming down here for a closer view. Oh, he couldn't remember the fucking password. Like, <laughs> bro, there's some weird fucking voice lines. Why is he being so secretive about a security closet? Is there something else down here, or...? Oh, it's a Bentley level? Or Murray level, rather? Okay. So, not doing that right now. Big Dimitri's office? And that's the only other thing to do, so let's go do that then. I mean, we could hop back to the safe house, I guess, and do the, the whatchamacallit bit, but let's complete all our other objectives first. Get wrecked. Where are we going? Over here. Sounds confusing. Why? I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So we'll be able to listen Why is the painting of us? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem very, uh, Just be careful with the fine secretive, you know? Take Seems to kind of give us away. Wait, where are we going with it? Let's go up to the roofs. He is always telling us you get a better view from the roof. What? <laughs> Job help? What's that? Avoid guards while inserting a bug painting to Dimitri's office. Take any damage and the painting is ruined. Enter nightclub via balcony. Let's 
let's enter here via the balcony. So can we just go in like right here? No. Oh. Can't just enter the front door. Ah! <laughs> God, well, okay. Maybe he said something that'll help us. <laughs> I just missed it. Maybe it's for the best that we restart. Take this pain to Dimitri's office. Location shown in your binocucom. It, it it is I don't see the location cuz that's the safe house right the s oh it's over there bruh i must just be blind i don't know how i missed that last time didn't look up high enough I'm not leaving. I'm going where you told me to go. But we gotta be super stealth about it. Otherwise the stupid painting will get damaged. Oh, there's people over here. Hope they don't see my shadow on the ground. That'd be awkward. Some pump and nightclub music, man. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. Too easy, my guy. Um, maybe. Oh god, don't fall. <laughs> Can we just like jump over there? I'm guessing no. These are just janitors. Do they really care? <laughs> Going to assume yes, but can we just jump over there? No. Damn, okay. So then our best bet is probably... Well, first off, don't get seen. Maybe go up here. How do we get up to there? Because it looks like we're going to need to run along here. And then, like, shimmy across the wall to get over to there. So maybe through here? Is there people in here? Is it empty? Oh, shit. No, that's just a circle. Okay, well, you're leaving. That's handy. you leave at some point or do you just stay there forever can I crawl under that no I'm assuming if one of them gets alerted all of them are gonna be alerted thank god they're blind How are we meant to do this? I wonder if I can just... Just run. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't... I was trying to jump on the table. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> How low we've gone. Too real, dude. That's too small to like shimmy across. Yeah, screw the janders, man. I'm just gonna 
try to not get hit by them. Because if they touch the lasers, presumably they'll die too, right? And they're just janitors, so they can't, like, you know, platform over here. I love how quickly they gave up, like, <laughs> somebody broke in, they chased them for like two seconds, and then we're just like, ah, I don't really care, man. The epitome of not my job. Oh, we're picking it up, Dimitri. Don't you worry. Doesn't even look close, man. It's the worst forgery ever. I can sell it through my internet connection and make us a ton of coin. My internet connections. You managed to get it. Oh. That's where the safe is, or vault, whatever. Okay. Oh, that just, <laughs> uh, it's fine. Bro, they really are blind as shit. I just ran, like, right in front of them. Oh, whatever. Makes our job easier. I definitely like the more freeform, just thrown into a level and you know, make your way through it style of uh, the first game than this objective-based gameplay, but it's not bad, though. I just think I like the style of one better. Maybe that's just because I played one first? I'm not sure. I got a lot of nostalgia for the first game. You can activate some of these like grabby things from really far away, man. The the little blue sparks. How do we actually go in the safe house? Oh, right here. The door maybe? Sell loot. How much? 232? I guess that's a lot. I mean... I feel like when you can just break random objects and get three or four coins, you know? Like, it's not that much. But whatever. Fists of Flame? I mean, we know we have a Murray... Ma or a fuck, I keep... No, that's right. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Murray. <laughs> My brain don't work, dude. I'm slightly dead at the moment. Play as Murray. So he's got like a ground pound, the uppercut, a regular punch. How do we do the Fist of Flame? Oh, shit. He sees us. Can Murray stealth? Like, obviously, he can just not be seen. But, like, can he... No, he can't do any of the... Well, couldn't walk across the ropes because they're too small or whatever. But he can't, like, climb any of the poles or anything either. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. I don't think he actually outputs any more damage than Sly does, though. Thought for a second that Murray had pants, but the belt tricked me. Well, obviously. Who would wear a belt with pants, dude? Murray, I need you to make your way back to the Aqua Puff room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You 
should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. Such a weird place to have an ice machine, dude. Oh, wait. Is that not the power box? Ah, we gotta hit it like multiple times. One block of ice isn't enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> she just threw it right at the wall. Thank God for like auto lock, man. Can I pick up the table? No. How do we do our fists of furry? Fu a furry? A fury. What? <laughs> Can I just throw him through the laser? Get fucked. <laughs> Bro, that's brutal, man. <laughs> oh, God. Where's the power box or whatever? Wait, do I actually have to go through this one? I don't see... I don't see any other answer. That's kind of scary, man. I don't <laughs> I don't trust Murray to go through those lasers. Okay, that actually ended up being fine. <laughs> I was worried for nothing. Can't bust this computer up. What are we throwing him? Oh. <laughs> We're literally like taking people and drowning them and stuffing them in pipes. That's <laughs> Murray's brutal as hell, man. You don't think whenever the 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 boss, whatever the fuck his name was, realizes that the pipes are all clogged up, he's gonna take a look and then be like, "How the hell did all these rats okay, get fellas, stuck in I here?" You know. I think I'd have some questions after that. A few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Whatever you say, Bentley. I trust you with my life. I guess. I don't think I really have any other option, but... Uh, sure. Murray again, dude. Let's take out those things. That's the sly symbol. Where's the Murray symbol? There it is. I saw pink. Nope. Can he bounce still? Yeah. Bouncy boy. Can we break like the... Oh. Oh, he can do some stealth stuff. Well, we can't get up there, but <laughs> but he has like pink shimmer. Sly has blue shimmer. He has pink. Can 
he run? He can. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up. Then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evil doers feel my wrath. You literally just made us do this. I don't think you need to explain how to pick up and throw things again. Oh. Can I throw the rats at them? <laughs> you dicks. Die. No more? No more. Where's the next alarm? Is it down there? No. Is it up there? No. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Oh shit, people do seem to respawn. Wait, where the hell are we going now? Oh, okay. I see, we were just too low, couldn't see shit. We Gucci, we got this. <laughs> the way he's on his fucking tiptoes, dude. That's great. So I wonder if we like run and jump, do we go farther? Uh, I can't tell really. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought we were a little closer to being like over him. We were not. Oh, hi. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Don't shoot Murray. Bruh, that is rude. Oh, the commotion. I forgot where we were going. I had to double check again. Uh, stuff to pick up. Can we pick up, like, oh, newspapers? Dope. Excuse me, sir. Wait, what was that? If, you, if we want to do something, press the R1 button. I know it lets us run, but does it... Is there another use for it? That would actually be handy information to have, like, pointed out to us. Instead of how to throw things for the third time. Oh, dick. Oh. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. Oh shit. They're still chasing me. Uh, it's fine. We kill. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh no. Murray! Oh, shit. Okay, cool. We're good. Where is this dude? A big dude need to die. Jesus. Is that the Eiffel Tower? Fake Eiffel Tower, I guess? I don't know. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm trying to break shit. Uh, actually, I might need one of you. Do another one of you want to, like... No? Okay. I'll just use a newspaper, then. Is that it for Murray missions? 
I believe so. How do we get in here? Oh. That was surprisingly easy. Bro, what's the point of the gate if, like, Murray can jump over that? You know, he's not even the, the nimble one. I see no reason to go in there, but I was just, I saw a gate, so it just instantly made me want to try and go in it. But now that I know we can just hop in there, it's no fun. <laughs> I don't like how they started putting people on the rooftops, man. It's a lot harder to get around. How did he see me? Run away! Uh, no, hide out. There it is. So if they're beefing up security, they must know something's going on. So I'm surprised they didn't find the hideout, given, you know, that <laughs> is right there. Like, it really sticks out compared to all the other vehicles in this area. Constable Mila, another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? I really don't like Someone these new cutscenes, man. If I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that... You can keep up. Literally. Literally. Uh, wait, we're Don't racing? Behind. Oh god, okay. Guys, pull down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Leela. Wait, where'd she go? <laughs> I lost her already. Seriously, where oh there she is. Wonder if it's possible to like get to wherever the destination is before her. If you know where she's going, or if we just have to stay close the entire time. Wait, where are you going? Why are you jumping everywhere, dude? You know a lot of these things you could just run off of, right? Probably be faster. <laughs> just, <laughs> just pointing that out. You're really inefficient breaking all this shit and whatnot. Are you just trying to show off? Is that what you're doing? Like, look at me and my cool whip? You can whip me if you want, girl. It's okay. I'm willing to give it a try. I mean, I guess I appreciate you taking out the enemies. Oh, hey, look, it's the place I was just wondering about. Uh, I didn't grab that thing. Well it's going to bug Sly. me. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained the key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Key to his back door, you say? Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. That job inside the disco will require... It applies Bentley, too? Okay, Head that's cool. I mean, we'll see if, like, playing as all the different characters gets old. You know, I could definitely see it being repetitive. Depending on how they go about the different missions. But, from the sounds of it, that's just extra variety, which is pretty cool. Do we hit it? Circle, circle. Wait, can Bentley actually, or Murray? Okay, 
as they jump over something that I can't. Wait, where's the hideout? There it is. Oh, you bastard. Bruh, some of the hitboxes with jumping is so weird. No, God, just run. Where are we going? Right there. Uh, is that a flashlight, bro? No, just weird lighting. That's the place, Bentley. Now I want to salute, dude. I want to see the thing we got. What's it worth? Ivory jewel box, 205. Nice. Uh, let's get the trigger bomb. Press X if you do, or, or yeah. How do we use these things? <laughs> Hold on. Does it say, like... No, it doesn't. Okay. So he's got a basic attack. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. No, don't go back inside. I was just seeing what attacks you had, dude. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the bomb. Haha, <laughs> get fucked! <laughs> I, I thought they died to the bomb. <laughs> they didn't die to the bomb. My only problem so far with the different characters is they, they're they not different enough, to be honest with you, right? So they all have a basic attack, some sort of special attack. They all run. They all double jump. Like, it just makes it seem like whatever Sly could do before, they can do, basically. So what's the point of Sly? at this point. What makes him special? He's supposed to be like the super agile, nimble, thiefy one. Like the only thing he can do that these ones can is running across lines so far. Like power lines and shit. I mean, Bentley and Murray might not end up jumping as high. I don't know. It's hard to say. Of course, I mean, Murray had no problem at all getting up this, though. And Sly and Bentley do, but Murray also has a bigger hitbox, so I'm thinking it just kind of cheats. <laughs> you know, not really a fair comparison. Are we able to shoot by any chance? Like, we have the crossbow. It doesn't see... Oh. This is new. There we go. Oh, that didn't... Oh, are they sleep darts? Uh, okay. How long do you stay asleep for? Not very long. Uh, or no, hold on. <laughs> I, d I don't know how long. Fine, fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball, and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock sign loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk. Now I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Okay. So blow up pillars. Can we be seen or is that a no-go here? I'm 
Try not to get crushed by the rubble, Murray. <laughs> or Bentley. Whatever the fuck your name is, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, uh, we can also, like, use them as distractions. Ow. That's a neat little mechanic. Ah, we're stuck on the bomb. Oh, he just doesn't care anymore? Okay. <laughs> he gave up on us so quick. Murray moves weird for a turtle. I mean, it's Sly Cooper, man. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's a little weird right now. We're anthropomorphic animals, you know? Oh. 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 Uh. Die, you bastard! Okay, hold on. Beat him up! Beat him up! I take it back. Drop him up! Oh, God. The, the frame rate! Oh, no! What is going on? Okay. Are we still in combat? I can't tell. Uh, we're fine. Everything is fine. Can we jump back up there? Yes. I think. Can you grab this? Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to work, but it did. Get one more. Where is it? It's right there. We're at half health. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, so that shook loose the peacock sign, and that helps us. Why? Can we, like, death warp out of here? Is that an option? Exit. Exit to episode menu. No, that's probably not what we want. Although that might let it. Oh, shit. That's a bomb. Although that might let us go back is what I was going to say. <laughs> we, like, exit to the episode menu and then come back into it. I'm assuming that would start us out at the safe house. Where's the exit? Is it up top? Maybe it was up top somewhere. Wait, is that the exit? With the dude like watching some sort of door? That would make sense. Yeah, okay, these are the broken lasers. I figured it out, we good. I feel like we could have just given Sly a couple bombs and he could have taken care of that, though. Not really sure we needed Murray for it. It's not like there was any hacking involved or anything, you know? Anything that really required his special moveset. Oh, shit. I keep pressing the wrong button whenever I just want to see... Where the hell we're going? Can I reach that now? Let's go! Oh, well, I fell. We running, boys! <laughs> we out of here! Oh, God. <laughs> I can't follow a straight line to save my life. Where the fuck are we going? I don't know where the safe house is. God damn it. Oh, we're being shot at. There it is. We're so close. We're going to be fine. Everything's great. I wonder if we're allowed to go in the safe house whenever enemies are on our tail. Master pickpocketing. I'm a little worried about this one, man. <laughs> I've never been particularly good at stealth. Stealth anything. I'm much more of a just kill everybody kind of guy, you know? 
That's my kind of stealth. Nope. Oh, right here. Uh, is there an easy way up here? Guess not. Jeez, boys. God, the frame rate, though. And the camera. Oh, God, where are we? <laughs> okay. Nice. And they're none the wiser, dude. <laughs> Wait, it didn't give us any clues. What do we have to do? Did we just kill them? Do we have to sneak behind them? Oh, now it's going to tell us. Okay. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel. But you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket are. their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Keep picking his pockets. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Jesus Christ, wait, what? We still haven't gotten the key? There we go. <laughs> My God, dude. Now, if we get attacked, will we be okay? Oh, God. Uh, This is not going according to plan. <laughs> I meant to attack the one, not be knocked in front of all of them. Uh, oh, God. Where? Hide, please. You'll never see me. Does this work? Can we? Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> they broke the table. Oh, God. I think we're a little fucked, boys. They actually lost us? What? Surely we could just, like, grab the rope that they're hanging on, right? We don't have any, like, special gun abilities? No. So we should probably, like, do the triangle square. That's probably what we should have done. <laughs> Live and learn. Uh, and maybe take out the spotlight. Seems like a good idea. You no know, see me. Nice. Number two. How many do we need? Six of them? Oh, shoot. Why you no going up? Or, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. He sees us. He sees us. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm in a corner. I can't attack him. <laughs> um, just give up. Oh, okay. I think we're going to fail this one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we have what? One hit left? Maybe two? It's fine. Everything's fine. Damn it. Give me your stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. He no sees us. He no sees us. <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead. Did he drop health? No. Okay. Death to the Warhog is about to be death to us. Oh, my God. This is scary. 
where's the next one at? The next three. The VIP area? Is that what this is? I don't know what this is. Is this the fan control? You still need three more keys though, so it doesn't really matter even if it is. I don't know what these do. Ooh, they give us health apparently. That's nice of them. Where's the rest of the guards? There's... I see lights. Okay. Bro, I'm trying to hide, not pick the dude's pocket right now. Is he gonna come back? Yeah, he's coming. He, uh, he comes back at some point. Got to channel our inner Metal Gear Solid, man. We beat all of those games. One, two, and three. Surely we can handle Sly, too, right? Oh, hi. There's the sleeping one. Nobody here. Your friend died of completely natural causes. Nothing to worry about. Just don't look, you know, a couple f f uh, f feet to the left or whatever. Give me your key. wonder if we can always pickpocket these guys or if it's only, like, during missions. Because it would be pretty cool. Like, just a way to get even more coins. Okay, I think the last one was down here too, right? Oh, no, it's not. I thought there was, like, another flashlight coming around that corner earlier, but obviously not. Maybe it was reflecting off the mirrors? So where's this last dude at? Well, there's the machine. Or the control panel. Whatever you want to call it. Wait, is that somebody? No. Hmm... How did we miss someone, dude? God, this camera is actual jank. Where the hell is the last key? Did they glitch? Did we miss him somehow? Wait, I hear someone sleeping. Maybe he's like up top. Maybe we have to like platform across the top to find him. We can climb this. Yeah. Aha, look at that. Wait, do these actually make noise? Oh God, does all of this make noise? That's a weird spot to put the... I'm assuming that's like some sort of security console or something. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, control panel was this way. We're master thieves. We know what the hell we're doing. Control panel, control panel. Who puts six locks on a control panel for fans? Like, this is like safe level security here. Wait, here. Oh, now we can climb on the cords of them? I'm convinced we could have done that before. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. And I ask again, he's not suspicious how? <laughs> 
<laughs> you come into to your place of business here or whatever, right? All of your guards are dead. The fans are turned off that obviously you had super okay, secure for some fellas, reason. The and there's bullet holes place. everywhere. <laughs> Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock side. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, slide. That's why we need the peacock in, sign loose, okay. Work tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Again, we could have just went through the grates and the that vent area that we were in before, though. Like, we're kind of tiny. I'm sure we could have squeezed through it. Anyways, guys, it is 2.30. I think that's all we're going to play for tonight of Sly 2. I'm happy we played it, but like I said before, I do like the first one better, I think. And I'm curious uh, what reviewed better. Sly, Cooper, and the Thievius Raccoonus. I don't know, Metacritic. I'm not a huge fan of Metacritic, but at a glance, it's handy. So 8.6 user score, 86 meta score. Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Oh, it actually reviewed better. I really don't want this Bing ad. It got an 88 meta score and a 9.0 user score. See, personally, I feel like the first game, with its simple platforming, get through the level style gameplay, it's just more up my alley, I guess. Hear that, or maybe the game gets better once you get out of tutorial area. That's a real possible. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're definitely going to play more of it, though, because I want to play all of the series. It will go on the list. We'll get to it eventually. Uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a bit while we continued our PS2 gauntlet. I'll be back tomorrow to play Final Fantasy X, and then while I'm doing that, I'll try to figure out what we're going to do for the future of <laughs> Final Fantasy X, I suppose. Uh, but until then, have a good night, and be kind to each other, y'all. Bye!